Well, the border crisis is playing out every day, and it happens far from the border itself. The skies over southern Texas, more than 70 miles away, are part of this last line of defense. CBS 2 special correspondent Lara Logan joined up with an elite air and marine operations unit who are helping Border Patrol stop a group of illegal immigrants trying to evade capture. We headed straight for Falfurias, where the last border checkpoint sits about 80 miles inland surrounded by private ranch land that's become a superhighway for illegal traffic. It doesn't look like the grass is much here, but it's actually pretty thick. Our pilots, Sean Jones and J.P. Pridgen, raced towards the ranch where two Border Patrol agents had radioed for backup as they chased a group trying to get around the checkpoint. What we're trying to do now is come down lower so we can reduce the uh, noise signature and prevent them from seeing us a long way out. At first, they saw nothing. He's here somewhere. Yep. I don't see him. There he is, over here, straight ahead. Straight ahead. All right, so the traffic's going to be out the right side. You have ATVs. Uh, here's a body right here, a bunch of them, three of them, out the right side. Yeah, there's four of them right here, five. This is what it's like, kind of like Keystone Cops. They don't have enough of them, or enough agents to corral everybody. There's a body out the right side here, too. I'm going to put you guys out. They touch down to let off the crew, who are also air interdiction agents. All right, and you're going to go to your 10 o'clock, okay? They joined the chase. All right, let's go find some bodies. And caught two men, this one hiding under a tree. Two more suddenly appeared. The extraordinary scene played out right in front of us. He had just been caught when the Black Hawk pivoted. Another runner. You'll hear uh, incidents where agents get bloodied up pretty good. So they'll be uh, clubbed, bludgeoned, have rocks thrown at them, fist fights. These people are very motivated to not be captured. So whatever they can do, whatever's within their means to evade capture, they're, they have no compunction to stop. Once all those apprehended were loaded up, there were about 10 in all. For these men, giving up is not an option, JP said. So the reason they're trying to get away is that either one, they've been deported before, or they have a, a, a criminal warrant in the United States, and they're not admissible into the U.S. No legal way into the U.S., but if they make it through here, there's no more checkpoints, nothing else standing in their way. I'm Lara Logan in Falfurias, Texas.